way So starting today I'm breaking out of this cage Hi everybody! How is everybody doing today? Today is, guess what? Two weeks post-op. What? I felt like, actually, it's felt like it's been forever since I said hi to you guys. The time has been going by a little bit slow. Um, I am currently in a hotel. My kids are out swimming with my sis Jen and I had to come up here to make sure I made the update to let you guys know how things are going. So let's get with stats. I'll start from the beginning. I, my highest weight was uh, 245 um, while being pregnant. Uh, after having my second child, um, breastfeeding really helped. I went down to 220. I've been at 220 off and on um, between 215 and 220 for eight years. I knew that if I didn't start losing the weight soon, uh, I would start getting really sick. And it was important for me to be a healthy mom because my youngest child was diagnosed with stage four cancer back in 2010. We've been fighting for almost five years now, um, off and on. He's been in remission and then relapsed in remission. So um, that's been going on for the last few years. And as you can see, I've been so stressed out that losing weight has been very difficult for me sitting in the hospital and always traveling and eating out all the time. So uh, from 220, uh, I started the pre-op diet and I was at 218 at that time. Uh, I had my, it was a two week pre-op diet. I lost uh, 11 pounds, I think is what I recall. Um, my surgery weight was 208, so it was about 10, uh, 11 pounds. It was like high 207, low 208. Before I was interrupted by a phone call again, uh, my surgery weight was 208. Um, after surgery, I got down to, last week I was at 201. Um, last Thursday for my one week post-op, I was just barely there, like 200 and 201. And um, I just wanna let you guys know that um, I'm under 200 pounds, woo! I got to one uh, Wonderland, I'm at 190, I was at 199 as of Saturday. Um, I haven't checked my weight in a few, no, as of Sunday. I haven't checked my weight in a few days because I've been at the hospital and the hotel with my son and I just, every time I'm at the hospital, I'm concentrating on him and I forget that I want to step on their, their scales and I don't even think about it. So I'm going to say I'm still, I'm going to say I'm going to, I'm probably still about 197 to 199 right now. I don't know, but I noticed that my pants are fitting loose, that uh, my bra was getting too big. I noticed that my boobs were shrinking. Um, but I noticed that people are starting to comment on how thinner my face looks. And let me show you, I'm going to stand up. So um, this is my tummy. The healing is going very good. The rash is going away. Sorry about the stretch marks, but the rash doesn't help. But the, these are my incisions and my tummy's looking a lot flatter. It's not sticking out like it used to be. So, you know, I'm much feeling much thinner. I'm feeling much thinner. And I have been walking almost every day and I feel great, guys. After the rash started dissipating, in fact, last night, I think it was the first night, I didn't have any itching whatsoever, which was great. So um, I've been walking a lot and no itching, and I just, I, I'm feeling wonderful, guys. I'm ready to pick up my pace a little bit, maybe starting walking a little bit faster. Maybe I'll do some videos with me exercising. We'll see, but I'm so excited that two weeks post-op that I am down, uh, oh gosh, that makes it for a total, uh, 199, that makes it for like 21 pounds um, since I started this whole journey. So I'm down like 21 pounds since I started this whole journey. Isn't that awesome? So I just wanted to let you guys know that I've moved on to pureed foods. Uh, I've had pinto, pintos and cheese, which is high in, uh, protein from Taco Bell, which is not bad. They're not like lard. It's not lard and fake. So it is processed though a little bit. So I only had a couple of bites of that 
I'm not gonna continue on eating fast food all the time, but somebody stated on my Facebook that pintos and cheese are good and high in protein from Taco Bell, so I tried it. Um, I've also tried chicken. Um, I've been mashing up foods like mashed potatoes with mashed up turkey and meatballs. Um, everything I take in small amounts of bites and I take my time chewing it and I don't swallow it because I've had a couple episodes of being stuck down right in here in my esophagus. Uh, right there. And um, I've had episodes of the stuck feeling. Oh, I ate some like nacho cheese in a little cup that had a lid on it um, from a gas station and um, I think it was bad cheese. I think it was old cheese because I got really sick the other night and I threw up and it was really bad. So um, I know that I'm not buying any food from gas stations from anymore because I was traveling and I'm like, you know what? No, 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 we're not gonna do that anymore. Um, slowly move myself off of protein shakes this week. This week we'll be practicing on getting pureed foods together, trying to find high pureed foods that will replace the protein shakes uh, for the third week. And I'm so super excited that I'm progressively going very well and going very fast on this. I just can't believe it's been two weeks already. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this good update, this good news. If you guys have any questions or comments that you want to leave down below, let me know. I'm more than happy to respond and answer your questions. Um, if I forgot anything and you have a question that, you know, you want to know, um, really quick, step back. Um, I did go to uh, Tijuana, Mexico and had my surgery in Tijuana through www.alighterme.com. My surgeon was Dr. Ortiz. You will see him on the website. And I paid only $4,600 um, for the surgery. They are amazing surgery uh, surgeons out there. They are amazing doctors and nurses. They're very professional. They're not dirty, they're very clean. And I hope everything, um, that if anybody is deciding to go to Mexico, that you guys decide to go through alighterme.com because I'm telling you the experience out, out there was amazing. And if you don't believe me, check out my other YouTube videos um, on this list and look out and look how my how well my surgery went. So anyway, I love you guys so so much. I miss most of you. Please leave comments. I want to say hi. I know I haven't been here every day, and maybe I'll come back maybe more than once a week. It depends on how many, how much time I have. So I uh, love you guys. I miss you guys. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys all next week for week three. All right. Ciao. Bye. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Hello? Yes.